I had a question from a viewer about the Monarch lathe and what all the levers and stuff do on it. So up here, there are your spindle speeds, pretty self-explanatory, all labeled here. Down here, this lever and this one are your range select for your uh, for your speeds. So we've got this one's just got an A and a B, so all the A's are up here and all the B's are down there. The B's are faster, and this is uh, C, D, and E, and so you can all C, D, and E, or C, D, and E. So those all change with that. So it just sets up which range you're in. This here switches between feed and threading. So back and forth some to get to the right gear the, the dogs in the You can drift the clutch, but I like putting it by hand, it just seems nicer. We're running, the bottom shaft is spinning, and this controls, lets you use the power on the carriage. If I stop that and switch this one, Things. Well, this lets you zero your dial. That's useful. Mine's a little sticky, so it should 
<laughs> it should have some sort of light oil in it. Mine feels like it's got thick oil, like whey oil in it. But So this is a neat feature. I haven't used this a whole lot because I haven't had a chance to do threading. You put that in, there'll be a stop, and then you can back out and then go right back to that stop. And that will help you with threading. You can stop right to the same thing, feed in with your compound, back out, feed in, go to the same spot, feed in, back out, go to the same spot. Things to check out on it, get it, this has an oil reservoir down here that gets filled up. See there, there's a little sight glass you can see. And as the carriage goes back and forth, it pumps up oil onto the ways to keep everything all nicely lubricated. So this would be supposed to be full of whey oil. Yeah, a couple oil cups you should squirt oil in. This oils this whole gearbox here. And also oil it at one of these holes that says oil. Oil at arrow. I forget where the arrow is. One of these. Squirt oil in it for the gearbox. Although really you should check those gears and make sure they aren't full of chips and crap. Here is your oil level for your whole headstock. And in here there's a sight glass and this should pump oil out. It should just drip. It doesn't need to pump very quickly. But you might want to take off the cover of the headstock and check out all the oil lines in there. Mine were plugged up so some of the bearings wouldn't be getting oil. They'd be getting splash oiled, but not, not what they should. So, along in the back here, there's another sort of set of gears and I believe you could get metric change gears for this to somehow convert the threads here to metric. I don't have any of that and have no idea how to do it, but it's theoretically possible. Yeah, tail stock is pretty self-explanatory. This locks it down so it doesn't slide. This one locks the quill so it doesn't go in and out. Back it out all the way, it pushes out the center. <laughs> I tried cleaning these sight glasses, take them out and clean them. There can be a real pain to get out without breaking the glass. So this one's a replacement one and it leaks a little bit because they didn't do a very good job. So I would suggest, unless you completely can't see through them, leaving these sight glasses well enough alone. It's just so easy to, to damage them. At least it was easy for me. Uh, on my lathe, these guys here are kind of eccentric. So if you put a shim behind them, it changes the position of them. But my lathe was also had an accident at some point because two of these levers are not like the other levers and they have the, the look of homemade on them. And in the gearbox, things didn't quite line up right. So pumps oil. When you go back and forth, there's a little cam that pumps very slowly. So theoretically, if you're doing a lot of facing or a lot of really short movements, you won't get oil up to the ways, but I don't, can't see how that's ever really gonna be a problem for what I'm doing. But you can uh, just run it back and forth a few times. This is a setup I've been using to get my you know, left right dimension. It's just a two inch dial indicator. And this works really pretty well because I can just slide it along and it hits here and I can just go the, the right amount. It, you know, it's probably not the most accurate thing, but it's good enough for everything I've had to do. And it just makes life a heck of a lot easier. Travel is a bit of a problem, but I have, you know, gone here and they moved it an inch or two inches and slid it and moved it again. You know, it's not, it's not the ideal way of using it. It's good enough and I'm not going to get a DRO for the lathe anytime soon. Well, if you like this video, I hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel. I have very many subscribers right now, so any little bit will be a great help to the channel.